Hello and welcome to Magic the Gathering Online, your digital destination for all things magic. This video walks you through the basics of playing a game. We've already logged in and started our game, so let's get to the battle. If you're not sure how to find a game that's right for you, check out the Find a Game video. Each new game or match on Magic Online opens in its own window called the Duel Scene. The battlefield, where creatures and other permanents go after their cast, is in the center of the window. Player information is shown on the left with your opponent on top. Your hand is at the bottom of the window, separated from the battlefield by the phase bar that displays information about the turn you're in. During the game, the prompt box tells you who needs to take an action and what that action is. When the prompt is bright, you know that it's your action, and when it's dim, you know it's your opponent's action. We've already played a few turns, and right now, it's the first main phase on turn 7. Left-clicking on cards lets you cast spells, play lands, activate abilities, and select targets. Clicking a spell in your hand starts casting that spell. Notice the prompt box tells you how much mana you need to finish casting the spell and your lands are highlighted. Click lands on the battlefield to finish paying the spell's cost and it'll be sent to the stack where your opponent can respond or let the spell resolve. As you add mana to your mana pool, it will appear on the left next to your information until it's used. Note that if you're playing a land and you've added enough mana to your mana pool to completely pay for a spell before you select it, clicking that card plays it immediately. Because spells and lands cannot be undone once they've been played, you'll want to take care when making your selections. If you'd like to see more of any card, zoom on it by clicking the middle mouse button or by pressing the Z key. You can also right click on a card to bring up a tooltip that contains the card's full text as well as a context menu of available abilities. After you finish casting spells, clicking OK passes priority and then moves to the next step, which as you can see on the phase bar is the attack step. Notice that a red zone has opened up in the middle of the battlefield and that all the creatures that can attack are highlighted. Clicking them moves them into the red zone, which means they are attacking. Clicking on an attacking creature again will move it back. If you have a lot of creatures, right-clicking on the battlefield lets you attack with all creatures to move all your creatures into the red zone. Once finished declaring your attackers, clicking OK in the prompt box locks the attack in place and players can respond to attacking before moving to the declare blockers step. Like declaring attackers, available blockers will be highlighted. Selected blockers will move into the red zone and line up with the creatures they're blocking. After blocks are set, players will have a chance to play abilities, and then combat will resolve and damage will be dealt. Your opponent's life total is shown next to their avatar picture. Here you can also see how many cards are in their hand, library, and graveyard. Each player's graveyard is also shown on the left side of the screen. Damage dealt to creatures that don't die will be displayed on the card next to their power and toughness and will remain until the end of the turn. When playing, if you have creatures or other cards with triggered abilities, Magic Online will automatically notify you when it's time to take action. A window will open with the abilities in it and you just need to select the order in which they happen, choosing targets and paying costs appropriately. You'll find additional game information on the right side of the screen, such as cards that have been exiled or revealed. These zones can be expanded and collapsed, and the panel can be resized by dragging on the grid splitter between it and the battlefield. In fact, any area that has a splitter can be adjusted and the areas around it will automatically resize as you make changes. You can even reduce your hand size until only the card titles remain visible to create more battlefield space. Reserve the opportunity to act during different phases of the turn by setting stops using the triangles on the phase bar. The top triangles are for your opponent's turn, while the bottom is for your turn. Clicking the phase will select or unselect that stop for the rest of the game, as well as for future games. The game clocks display how much time each player has left in the match. Remember, if your timer runs out, you'll lose the entire match, so use your time wisely. The chat and game log is currently docked to the right. The top area displays the game log, which tells you what happened in the game so far, while the bottom shows the chat between you and your opponent. Undock the chat by dragging on the tab at the top and close it by clicking the X. Click the Chat and Log button on the lower right of the screen to reopen the chat. 
you can redock the chat by dragging back over one of the dock icons. The options menu contains game and display settings, such as showing the card preview pane or disabling animations. Additional display, input, and game options are available in the account area. In Dual Settings provides additional information about stops and lets you adjust them when not in a game. Input Settings lets you set and adjust hotkeys, which are keyboard shortcuts for common game actions that help speed up gameplay. Well, that covers the gameplay basics, but you'll need to get some practice games in to really become familiar with Magic Online. Watch the Find a Game tutorial to learn how to use the Play Lobby. If you ever have questions or need help, don't forget that you can go to the Chat with Support room and get live, in-game assistance from our online response crew 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thanks for watching and good luck in your next game! For more information and to download Magic Online, visit mtgonline.com.